But there is some anger in India at the lack of recognition given to Bose, one of their own. India's government calls him a forgotten hero. Well, let's go live now on the hub to Geneva in Switzerland and senior scientist Dr. Vino Chohan from the world's largest particle physics laboratory, CERN, which of course confirmed a couple of weeks ago God's particle and Higgs boson does exist. He joins me now. What contribution did Bose make to this incredible discovery? I think, uh, to be correct, uh, the, the, Bose, uh, whole, the, the Bose contribution is, goes back to the, what is known as the Bose-Einstein statistics, which date back to 1920s. And he uh, helped develop that technique, a mathematical technique, which then became very important in trying to create what is known as Bose-Einstein condensate. That's, that's where his uh, re work really comes out in, you know, in prominence. Dr. Chohan, is he really something of an unsung hero? Yes, he, I would say yes from, a, let's say, myself being an Indian origin person. You could say that he is an unsung hero because it's one of those issues where we develop or one develops mathematics and then uh, this mathematics uh, is n years later people prove that yes they can create something with it and this is what really happened with the Higgs boson condensate uh, so to speak and in, in fact the, the Nobel Prize in that subject uh, of that type of material or matter uh, only came about I think something around 96, 97, 2001 there were several prizes at least three as far as I know, which, which benefited from the basic work of Bose, uh, which was translated by Einstein into German uh, for a publication, which was refused by a, a mag um, the philosophical magazine which published physics in London at that time. Dr. This Chohan, I um, understand. Dr. Chohan uh, Professor Bose died in 1974. Do you believe he would have qualified for a Nobel Prize? Yes, I think so, but I think it would be of the, of the period uh, in the already long time ago, and not, not, not in this issue of the Higgs boson and other things, because this is the issue of the physicists believe in two classes of particles called fermions, and there is a fermion, Fermi Dirac statistics, and here for the bosons is. Uh, another name, Bose-Einstein statistics. And this is really mathematical techniques that they use in proving or disproving other things. So this is how it, it comes about. Finally, when you look at the fact that in many ways he hasn't been recognized, even though his name is there, Higgs boson, how much of that do you believe is the fact that he was Indian and if you like, Indian uh, success in science was not fashionable way back then. Yes, I, I think I think that goes back to many other issues, uh, colonial history, or many other things. I would say I don't, I cannot really hazard a guess, but one should remember that there's only one uh, one Indian in physics got a Nobel Prize in 1930. Uh, if you see that there were other many other people who did a lot of fundamental work at that time and. Uh, uh, how do we go back and how does a Nobel Committee judge or whatever other scientific bodies would give prizes judge uh, or recognition? It's, it's, it's a bit of a, a difficult question to answer. Dr. Vinod Chohan, engineer and scientist, live from CERN, where, of course, uh, Higgs boson was confirmed a couple of weeks ago along with God's particle. Thank you very much indeed for joining me here live